yes you guys that was my first little intro like guru intro that i tried and i just learned how to do it and i was like you know what since i just learned how to do it i should definitely show my queens how to get it done as well so i'm just going to run you guys through another version of a beauty guru that i decided to do so first we're gonna go to our internet browser. The first thing we're going to look for are backgrounds, of course, for your beauty guru video. I like to go to baddie backgrounds on Google just because they have all these cute, pink, pretty, modern day backgrounds. I already used one of these, so I'm going to go to my second favorite one that I saw, which is this hot pink Louis Vuitton background. Reminds me of fabric, so I'm gonna save it onto my iPad and I'm going to upload it into my iMovie and position it as the background for my Beauty Guru video. So I'm going to begin by starting a new movie, choosing the background that we just chose online, and now I'm going to disable the Ken Burns. To your right-hand side on the bottom of the photo screen, you're gonna see the option to enable disable Ken Burns, and that's gonna be a way for you to position your image. I'm repositioning this picture because it's a little crooked and uneven, so let's go ahead and straighten that up. Next, I am going to Docs Transfer, which is a website I use to transfer my videos and images from my devices. You can connect it easily via a PIN number. I'm going to choose all the files that I'm going to be using in my video. Uh, sorry guys, if I sound raspy, I'm really underneath a cold right now, but let's get back to it. So it's pretty simple. You just download, each picture, each video, add it to your photos and your device. And just do this all at once, just so it saves more time. You don't have to go back to look for images. Just create a folder and add all your images for your video. So we are going to head over to our eraser app. And this is where I'm going to choose my main photo that I'm gonna use in my video. And I'm going to take out the background of this image. This is usually easier when you are against a white background, but when you aren't, you have to go in and do the manual work. So it's a little tedious. You can zoom in, you can turn and twist the photo any which direction that you want, which is what I love about this app. You can get nitty and gritty, like you can take everything out, but take your time. I like to go in small strokes because imagine if you like, just cleaned up your hairline real smooth and easy, but then you cut into your arm and you have to undo it, then you're gonna undo all that work that you just did. So it's better to just take your time, take away all those stray hairs, just clean it up real nice. What I'm doing now is I'm using the filler part where I'm going in and adding back anything that got ex accidentally erased. And then I'm going to go back in my eraser and you see how I'm like taking in my waistline, cleaning up around my hip area. You can literally shape out your body, just make you look like a vixen. This is what being a bad is all about. <laughs> but now I'm going in with the red eye just to clean up anything I missed and I'm going to save it in high resolution and we're ready to go. So we've just entered our Fonto app, and this is the app where we're going to create our green screen image. We're gonna go into add a plain image, choose the plain image, black or white, I chose white. We're gonna go into custom dimensions, turn it to 1280 by 720 because those are the YouTube dimensions. And then we're going to save our image. Before saving, we're gonna change the background color to green. There's a perfect green that's already available on the app. I love this green. Apply and save it to your photos because you're going to be using it in the future again. And we're gonna get started. Now we're gonna add image. I am going to add the image that I just erased. See how, you see how that eraser app just got, you know, it's looking a little professional, a little professional going on here. Now we're gonna go in, we're gonna size it. One thing I don't like about the, Fonto app is that it's a little tedious to size and like tilt and things like that, but you'll adjust to it. Now I'm going to add another image, which is this cool diamond image that I also erased the background from. I actually found this on Google. You can just type in diamond PNG. You'll find some diamond images on plain backgrounds or transparent backgrounds and just follow the same eraser method. So I'm just going to adjust this, add another one to the other side, you know, make a little cue, add some bling 
tilt it, even it out. I'm trying to hide my hand part because it just looked weird after I erased it. You know, it just blended in too much with the counter. Now I'm going to add my logo right on the top. Um, my logo I custom made it, so I suggest you all to try to custom make your logo on Pixlr. I use Pixlr, I add it down below, and I'm just gonna add it on my green screen. Boom, save my picture, and this is what I'm going to be using next. Now I'm heading to Glitchy. Glitchy is the app that we all love. This is the app that's gonna give you all these animations that are just gonna make your video look really cool. I'm just gonna swipe through a few of them to see if you like different kinds, but my suggestion is to always just play. Play around with the Glitchy app, play around with all of these apps because that's how you're gonna be able to create the most unique video possible. And each time you go in and make a beauty guru, they'll all be different. You'll have time to use them all, so don't rush. Sorry, that was my feisty puppy latte, but back to the video. So this is the one that I chose. I really like this feature. It gives me that like technical difficulty kind of thing. And then boom. Now we're gonna head back and add this into our iMovie. And the way we do this is that we're going to our add screen and we're gonna choose click blue screen and green screen. That's the only way we're gonna get the image to overlay on top of the background. See how that's looking? See that little effect that's going on there? I love that. So it's your turn now to just, you know, play around with the video, design it how you want, mix it up a little bit. Now I'm going in and I'm just gonna get some background images just to play with the features in my video. I'm clicking Polaroid glitter backgrounds. Um, I already used the pink one in a previous video and I didn't want to do pink on pink so I chose like a silvery aqua bluish which I think will overlay really beautiful on a magenta. We're going to save that into our photos and we're going to go right into eraser. I'm not going to show you guys. You guys know how to do it. This is actually easier to erase since it's a box and it's on a white background. Just erase your background and it's going to be prepped to go into the next step. I'm also gonna go straight into the iPhone PNG because these are two background images that we're gonna be using just to decorate and add some flavor and style into our video. Just to show you guys how simple it is for the iPhone and the Polaroid background, you're just gonna go in and use the sparkle wand and click those background images clean. It's not gonna be as tedious as the one before. Um, so now we're going to go into Fonto and we're just going to play around a little bit. We're going to go in, we're going to add the Polaroid PNG that we just took the background out of, position it. Um, I like to tilt it a little bit just so we can have a little bit of, you know, flavor to it. I don't want it to look so like straightforward. If you think of a Polaroid image, it's a little tilted to the side if it's like casually placed on a counter. So I thought that was cute. Um, the ideas for this are just endless, I'm telling you guys. Um, I'm going to go into text, and I'm just going to type, welcome to my channel. Um, you always want to welcome people to your channel, um, add your brand name, tell people to subscribe. So adding text is very vital for your beauty guru video. That's how you tell people what your channel is all about. And I'm just going to position and size my words right on the size right on the side of the Polaroid image. You can play with the font, choose any font that you want. Uh, make sure everything is spelled right because it happens, you know, when you spell something wrong, you already save everything and it's like, it says Chono instead of channel, you know, like or something like that. But yes, take your time, you guys. Um, these are all the cool fonts that Fonto has available for free. And yes, all of these apps are actually free, you guys. Um, so don't look into like paying um, for like different apps. It's always good to pay for apps because they have like cooler features, but these are definitely free. Here comes the cool part. So the way we're gonna create this illusion is that we're gonna go to add image and we're gonna choose one of the images that we downloaded earlier from Docs Transfer. And we're gonna place this image right into the Polaroid. We're gonna size it and tilt it just so that they can fit perfectly within one another. How cool is that? Like, it's just like an illusion. I have like a really like good illusion that's gonna come up. You guys saw it in the preview video of the um, iPhone. So this is kind of like the intro to how I would kind of like 
get the video on the iPhone. But um, just play around with it. Um, you can. What I like about Fonto is that you can make the images taller, um, wider. Um, I can always make the Polaroid background skinnier as well if I didn't want to stretch my image too much, which is what I'm going to do. And then we're just going to make sure everything is in place and save that image. Now I'm gonna go back into my font and I'm gonna choose a more basic font, more corporate-y since I already used the script, um, just so I can add another message right underneath that photo, which is going to say, follow me on social media. Yes, you guys, and if you guys have not followed me already, follow me on social media. In the description down below, you will find my information if you guys want to keep in touch with me and my fashions and all my latest posts. Um, um but anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to position follow me on social media right underneath welcome to my channel. And you guys are probably wondering, like, why haven't I changed anything in the image because this is going to create the illusion that I'm going with so now I'm going to add my iPhone right on top so basically I'm creating layers if you guys have not realized and when you create layers you create a lot more texture in your video so now when I add my photo this is the PNG that we downloaded from the Google and we took the background out using magic eraser we're gonna position that right over our Polaroid image and we're also going to add the final line of text which is going to include our social media mine is at hot harris which is my personal instagram which where you can keep up with me and my puppy latte and all my designs and my day-to-day -day activity and my business page is at day harris where you can keep up with all my fashion my designs and all the shopping <laughs> but back to the video now I'm just going to position that right underneath follow me on social media and I'm going to save this image, okay? Heading back into Safari, I'm going to look for Instagram PNG because you always want to add a logo so that people are just more aware of exactly what is going on next to the words that you're telling them. So if they see the Instagram sign, they're going to be like, oh, well, that's her Instagram right then and there so you want to kind of give people direction it's a little bit like advertising so i'm going to choose a black instagram logo because i just think it would just be better for the pink background i see all these pretty options but i definitely think the black one is perfect and it already comes with its background erase which i love okay so i don't have to do extra work so we're just gonna save that image right into our photos we're gonna go back into fonto and we're gonna add that image right in to our photo so like i said you guys could just get as creative as you'd like so now this is the last layer of image we're going to save. Yes, yes. Now we're going to go into Glitchy. And we're going to take our first image saved. Remember this one, the very first one? And we're going to add a glitch to it. Something real cute. You know, I love these little glitchy ever, ever videos. And then boom. <laughs> you guys keep hearing a boom. But we're going to save that over into our photos. I love this little effect going on here. And now we're going to go into Video Leap. And we're going to go with a next layer that we saved, which is the one with the iPhone image. And this is where it gets really, really, really cool. So now we're going to add the videos that we saved from Docs Transfer. Remember I told you guys, save photos and videos for this guru. So it could be real animationally and just, you know, show a lot of your personality. Make sure you just adjust the length of your video and place your video right into the iPhone image. Wow, look how cool that is. Let it play. Make sure you take out the volume. Save it as 1080, 1080p HP because that's just the highest quality. Um, I don't think it works well with 4K, but now we're just going to go back in, erase that video, add your next video, so on and so forth. You guys can add as many as you'd like. I personally added three, but I'm just going to move on to the next step. Now we're going to go and add our green screen, blue screen, right on top of our project video. 
and we're just going to add on all the videos that we just created all the layers that we just created to create the final illusion and you're just going to see how it all comes together literally all i'm doing is just layer after layer adding everything that i just created using glitchy and video leap based on just your creativity and imagination you can go in as i'm doing now and just add in your videos like the cell phone image one that we just created just in any organization or theme that you would like any order that you want and we're almost close to the final steps of the video i know it's been a long time coming and i know you're gonna have to rewind a few times because it just took me a while to get this as well nope nope no nope. we cannot end the video without adding a subscribe button and if you guys have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up for this video and leave any comments down below back to the video um we're gonna type in green screen subscribe button on youtube and this is where you're gonna find all the different type of animations um there's so many cool things i love youtube for the stuff like this and i found this really cute pink one really love it um pink is my favorite color and being that it's light pink it's gonna work well on the magenta background okay and we're just gonna go into y2 mate which is what I love to use to convert my videos. Um, and we're just going to download this subscribe green screen into our iPhone or iPad, any device that you're really using. And we're gonna add our final, well, second to final piece, which is our subscribe button using the green screen, blue screen. And we're also going to add, well, this is something I didn't show you, but it's easily done in Fonto, my um, signature, which is the fashion channel. And it's just a PNG that I created on a green screen Fonto, um, which is easy. You can create anything with text on there. Now I'm going to look for our final piece to our beauty guru, which is I'm going to go on YouTube and I'm going to look for uncopyrighted music. I don't like to use, of course, I would love to use Nicki Minaj or anything hot right now, but um, YouTube doesn't allow you to play a lot of songs. And being that I'm trying to get monetized, I look for uncopyrighted music. I found one that I really, really, really like. So I'm going to convert it using Y2Mate and I'm just going to add it into my video and I'm going to use subscribe. I'm going to add it using audio only, okay? Make sure that you're using audio only so it doesn't overlap your video. And we're just gonna adjust that song right into your video. And we're done. And stay tuned for the final video. I hope you guys love this video. I worked really hard to show you guys how to do it. Um, save it into your photos and you're ready to upload this anywhere on YouTube, on Instagram, and you have your beauty guru all done and ready to go. If you guys have any questions down below, um, just leave a comment down below. I'll answer any questions. I'll try to keep you guys updated with anything that I learn new. And I hope you love it and I hope to see you guys with your beautiful videos.